Hello. Our upcoming horror film, The Creature from Scroby Sands, is debuting a special 10 minute preview at the International 14 Film Festival in Gloucester this weekend. The producer and art director for the film, Carl Ball, has already made his way there and I'll be catching up with him later. But for now, let's see how he's getting on. Hello, I'm here at the Sherbourne Cinema in Gloucester, reporting on the 14 Film Festival, where they're showing the first ever preview of the creature from Scroby Sands. <laughs> Yeah, so um, our film is The Creature from Scroby Sands. It's a film about a creature and that, you know, come, comes comes out of the sea, kills people. There you are. Simple as that. Um, so I'm Jordan Thomas Sendel, and I'm the director for the film The Creature from Scroby Sands, and uh, I'm also the cameraman, editor, producer, uh, come up with the concept, um, all around one man band, really, to be fair. Well, not really, because you've got me and James as well, haven't you? So, well, what do I yeah. do? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I did most of the story. Um, yeah, I'll give you that, yeah. Uh, Co-editing, yeah. um, co-directing, yeah. art direction, stuntman, actor. Um, anything else? And there's James as well, obviously, did a lot of the dialogue, didn't he? So, Reese, it's Great Yarmouth. We're going to get stabbed, I know it. Don't worry about it, babe. It's a bit of a shithole, admittedly, but it's quiet. And that's what we want. Why do we need somewhere quiet? What was wrong with Norwich? Um, the Creature from Scroby Sands is a uh, horror movie set in the Norfolk town of Great Yarmouth. And it's all about a creature from Scroby Sands, uh, which is a sandbank off the coast of Great Yarmouth. Uh, and this creature's plaguing the town, terrorising the town and uh, just basically going on a rampage. And uh, we thought this, the town is a great location uh, to film it. It looks really great on film. And um, we just thought it'd be amazing just to see what it would look like with a sea creature running loose and running right around the streets and the beach. Yeah, I remember you said to me one day, as a joke, um, what about a horror movie, The Creature from Scroby Sands? And it was just one of those things where you, you thought of a good name for something, but you didn't really there was no idea. Yeah. And it was then, just the name. <laughs> and I kind of went to you, yes, that, that would really work. That's our, that's our idea there for a feature film. And here we are, still making it. That was a great old big way, What do you mean? Yeah, because we were inspired by events uh, and everything we found out during making Fact or Fiction, the Norfolk Sea Creature, mm -hmm. which was our documentary about uh, this urban legend about this Norfolk Sea Creature. Uh, and so during filming that, uh, you know, I was on the beach nearly every day with my camera, just filming the sea and the beach and um, interviewing people as well and getting their opinions. And I just thought to myself, wow, yeah, I was so inspired about making this, this creature from Scroby Sands, like actually making it into a, a sort of black and white 60s uh, horror. So yeah, so I, I love vintage cinema, anything to do with vintage cinema, uh, anything to do with retro, retro cinema I absolutely love. So just the idea of being able to make something like that um, with the resources that we've got is just incredible. Yeah, so I'm here at the film festival in Gloucester, the 14 Film Festival. Here's the poster for our film, which I actually painted myself in oils. Um, I brought a spare copy with me today, just in case they forgot to put ours up, and they did actually, so... Okay, so my, my views on, on the preview. Well, I've already said I, I'm a big fan of the, the creature from Scroby Sands, and uh, what I think you guys do particularly well is your humour is very subtle. Um, 
you know, I like the deliberate continuity error I've already told Kyle about. So you, you adjust the aspect ratio to, to show that you're now looking at this old recovered footage and the glaring, you know, <laughs> wind turbines <laughs> spinning around that obviously wouldn't have been there in, you know, in the old days of monochrome cinema. So you've done things like that, which, you know, uh, they tickle me, they tickle me and some people won't notice them, but I find the subtlety in your humor, like, you know, really quite refined and people have compared you guys to Monty Python and, you know, I would sort of second that. So, so what did you think of the creature from Scrooby Sands? Scrooby Sands, never heard of that one. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It's like a, it's, it's like the old uh, horrors sort of uh, mixed up with a bit of comedy. And yeah, I, I, I want to see the whole film actually. To be honest with you, I, I didn't know. I had no idea y'all have had a, a sea creature. Oh, um, the creature from Scrooby Sands was really cool. From what I understand, it's a review uh, of you know a feature that's going to be out next year and I thought it was well filmed. It had some kind of Hitchcockian kind of vibes to it as well. It looked really filmic, like as if it was shot on film. Um, the characters, it had like a really cool like neo-LGBTQ vibe about it also, which I really appreciated. Um, the acting was good, just even those wonderful Dutch angles that kind of, you know, again, black and white 60s um, influences, which is uh, which was fantastic. Yeah, the, the, the banter and the dialogue, you know, it's comedy, it's like a good little comedy horror as well, um, and some dark tones too. Yeah, so I am really looking forward to seeing the feature version when it's finally out. It's a great poster. I've actually not seen it, but I know the story behind it, and I think it's brilliant. And uh, I think it's something I have to see, if I may. And uh, yeah, and I wish you luck with it all. Uh, it's fabulous. I think it's a great, great idea. I think it's going to become a bit of uh, Fortean folklore in yeah, itself, uh, isn't it? Because you set up this hoax idea and that will permeate into the local surroundings and then people will swear that they've seen yeah. this creature at some point and then you go back in 10 years and you'll find that it has become part of the folklore yeah. so you're actually creating, creating folklore. It's a ripple effect, yeah. very clever, very clever. I think there's other bits and pieces but I don't know about mermaids and the creatures from Scooby Sands. Scooby Sands? Scooby Sands? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, the reception today, we've got a few people, um, lots of laughter, um, a few people walked out, I uh, heard words like boring and dull, um, amateur -ish. The word B-movie was, was yeah. slapped about a bit, wasn't it? Yeah. I think they were scared. Yeah. But we do give them a fair warning. Uh, James plays a professor, James Weasley plays a professor, and mm -hmm. there is a fair warning given, uh, you know, if you want to leave the auditorium before the film begins, then, because you're going to shit your pants, mm -hmm. which you will if you see this film, then that's fine, you know, we, yeah. we, we accept that, yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, some bloke, I did hear some bloke in the back say, um, oh no, not a black and white film, and he just, he just walked out, so, let's say you can't please everyone, can you? Mm. But yeah, the 14th festival, 14th film festival is great, we, we uh, debuted last year with Fact or Fiction, the Norfolk Sea Creature documentary we made and it was the documentary we made last year that actually inspired us to make this um, horror movie this year so it's great to be back we, we, um, and we hope we hope it gets selected next year as well with our finished film as Marilyn von Smart had said to acquire knowledge one must study right yeah you know who else likes to study Mark you got chips really yeah when he's not stuffing his face full of chips, he's stuffing his brain with knowledge. Perhaps you, you two should study sometime. Yeah, perhaps. I'll ask him what he's doing for his end of year final major project. Perhaps we could read beside each other. Yeah, yeah, he'd like that. He's always asking me to hang out, but I've got my team. I shall ask him. Tommy, that man hasn't stopped staring at us since we got in. Yeah, 14 Film Festival. No, thank you. Yeah, I should probably give them a call though, just to sort of see how they're getting on.
Yeah, so the creature from Scroby Sands. Basically all my idea, really. Um, just need to take this call. Kyle, the old slag. Oh, it's James, yeah. Yeah, how's the, uh, how's the um, f film thing? Yeah, really good actually, and it's going really well. No smoke of our ass, mate. Yeah? yeah? They love it, they fucking love the film. Have we uh, bagged any awards or anything? Yeah, no, they haven't announced the awards yet, but no doubt we'll clear up. I mean, that's why we're here, is it not? What'd they say about my, uh, about my performance? All they said about your performance was, he's big. He's a big lad. Big? But I think they just meant... What, what is in like, well, I'm, I'm destined for the big time sort of thing? That's all they said. Um, but I think they just meant big on the big screen. So, don't worry about it, mate. It's fine. They clearly don't know fucking talent when they see it. Yeah. <sighs> well, you know, just... You're a big lad, aren't you? And on the big screen, you look even bigger, so... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna hang up on you anyway, you fucking cheeky bitch. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> fucking big. So, um, so in the in the 10 minute preview that we've shown here today of the creature from Scroby Sands, um, we had a, the, the scene features a classic car, so it's, it's amazing just kind of having these these characters in this classic car on Great Yarn the Seafront as well, just kind of showing the, the darkness of it. Mm -hmm. Because um, it's filmed in black and white, so it looks old. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the car was old as well. Uh, 20, 20th century, I reckon. Was it a Morris Minor? Why are we even here? Take me home this instant. <sighs> Don't be like that, babe. It was only a joke. You're perfectly safe with me. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go out right now for a nice moonlit walk on the beach? Just the two of us. It'll be romantic. <gasps> See? I told you. Shh, shh, shh. Reese, shut up. I'm scared. In the, in the preview, I play Jade. Um, originally, we were going to cast somebody as Jade, um, but we, we, were, we did some test footage one night in your car, didn't we? Yeah. And which just thought it was funny. I mean, and it's one less actor to source if that's it, I yeah. play one of the parts, yeah. so we kept it really. Yeah, that's it. It's quite funny because you, you just put a wig on, that was it. Yeah, I mean, didn't really wear a lot of makeup, really, just the wig. No, the moment you put the wig on, I said, You're playing Jade. Yeah. And that, and that was that. Yeah. Oh, I really like the uh, feature of Scroby Sands. I thought the girl that it was fit. <laughs> <laughs> so audiences and you guys will be able to see the full Creature of Scroby Sands film um, when it releases later this year. Um, we're hoping to have a full on premiere in Great Yarmouth, Norfolk, so obviously follow our, follow our stuff, stay tuned for further details on how you can watch it. Uh, later than that we're hoping to have also uh, an exclusive show in here as well at the Sherbourne Cinema uh, in Gloucester at next year's F uh, 14 Film Festival. If, if we, we can, get selected, yeah. Yeah, if we can actually get selected, yeah. Probably will. If we don't, I'll hang up my, my camera again and I'll call it a day. Yeah, call it a day. Yeah, yeah definitely. Of the scraper sounds well, I want to see the rest of it. I mean, and it's cool. I like the uh, retro 80s, I'm a big fan of that and the analog, and I'm, I'm excited to see how that develops. And uh, I, I hope that the creators will keep us posted on its progression. I thought it was really funny, I thought it was really well shot. I like the color of it. Um, I like the acting, the acting was funny. The go to the guy who was in, um, who played your boyfriend. Uh, he was good, he was funny, you were great in it as well. Um, so it was good, I, I, I just loved the way it was shot. It definitely made me want to see more of it anyway. So. I thought I loved it. Um, the sound production on it was absolutely amazing. Um, I loved how it was slightly tongue in cheek, but it was um, also like I wanted to know more, I wanted to delve further into it. It was a, it was a great film. It's, um, yeah, I liked it.
the creature from Scraby Sands. Coming soon. Wow, what a weekend that was at the International 14 Film Festival in Gloucester, of, of all places, 2022. It just looks amazing, Kyle. I mean, what were your thoughts on the screening, on the film I mean, festival? Wow, what a weekend. It was, mm. it was just so so great. All, so many good films, mm. a great opportunity to meet other filmmakers, mm. and I think our screening went really well. The audience seemed to, they seemed to love our film. That's good news to hear. It sounds like it was received very well. I can't wait to see what happens next and when we'll hear back. Oh, that'll be them now. Let's go see and see what we've won. I can't wait to see what we've won or anything else that the likes. Can you just have a bit where you walk off again? Mm -hmm. I just, uh, no, it's fine. We'll keep what we've got actually. So Kyle, tell us the news. I better put my. Well, would you like to open it? Oh yes, I'll do the honours. Don't mind me. Okay. Go on, tell so, me. Kyle, I can see you waiting with bated breath. As are you, the audience. So, at the International 14 Film Festival, the winners and award listings. The creature from Scroby Sands hereby has won at the 14 Film Festival 2022 held in Gloucester, the following awards. Best Work in Progress, Gold Award, The Creature from Scroby Sands. That's amazing, Carl, what's your thoughts? Hot, hot, hot off the press here. I mean, our film, it wasn't even finished, but we still won an award, that, that's great, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Best Poster Artwork, it's your handiwork. Well, yeah, I mean, it was painted um, by hand in oils by me, so, hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm very, very happy with that, yeah. Absolutely, great. that's great to hear. And uh, oh, best performance, here we go. Oh, well, I guess that'll be me as well. I think you were very pleased with the performance you gave in the first 10 minute preview Absolutely. of The Creature from Scroby Sands this weekend at the Fort International 14 Film Festival was, yeah. in Gloucester. Oh, I was really pleased, yeah. Sorry, I'm doing the X Factor on you. Let's have a look and see whether you won the best performance because we've won an award for the best performance. Best performance goes to Millie the dog, as Dillis the dog. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Who was it? Me or James? No, it's Millie the dog. It's actually... Dog? <laughs> it's actually Millie the dog. Fucking dog? She doesn't even know she's in the film. That's mental. So there you have it. That was the International 14 Film Festival. Carl, you, you printed this. I haven't. That's what... You just sort of come in the page. You made this yourself. I, know, I really haven't. Oh. Wow. So there you have it anyway, that was The uh, Creature from Scroby Sands at the International 14 Film Festival 2022. The Creature from Scroby Sands is coming soon. Uh, really? Millie? Millie the dog, yes. Best performance. The yeah. dog? The dog, yeah. You can catch the, uh, the film when it releases later this year in Great Yarmouth, Norfolk. And uh, for now, follow at JS Studios Media and all your socials to stay up to date on the progress of the film. That's The Creature from Scroby Sands coming soon to a cinema near you. Fucking dog!